channel. So for today's video, I am doing a one brand tutorial all NYX cosmetics. I've actually am not that sure or I'm pretty sure actually that I haven't done a one brand tutorial on my new channel, this one, like my new English channel, but I have done English one brand tutorials on my old channel. So I will go ahead and put it in a playlist for you guys if you want to see previous brands that I've done. But I am so excited to do NYX just because I really love NYX. NYX is one of my favorite drugstore brands. I use a lot of their products a lot of the time. And if you guys haven't seen it, I did do a NYX face and body glitter swatches video because I love all of their body glitter. Like, I have all of them. And I love it because I can buy it at Ulta and they usually have some sort of promotion like buy one get one half off or buy one get one free, buy two get one free or something like that. So I feel like they're constantly having promotions on their products that I'm like, yes, let's get it. <laughs> Now, for prepping my skin and stuff, I did go ahead and use other products just because I didn't have, like, NYX lotion and NYX facial sprays and you know what I'm saying? So in case you guys haven't seen any of my one brand tutorial videos, usually the way that it goes down is that obviously I do the tutorial, but while I do the voiceover of the tutorial, I talk a little bit about the product. So these videos tend to be a little bit longer because I really want to give you, even if it's like a mini review, I want to kind of give you guys some feedback on these products to let you know if I like them, if I dislike them. For the most part, I've used a lot of these products for a really long time so I have a good idea of what how I feel about them but for some products I was like oh okay so before we go ahead and get started be sure to let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite NYX product in case I don't have it I should go get it <laughs> and also let me know what other one brand tutorial you would like to see I mostly try to stick for the most part with drugstore just because I feel like they're a lot more affordable easy to find you could just go to a store you don't have to order online but go ahead and leave me anything down below so I can see what I can do and start working on that for you guys. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and start by prepping the skin. I'm going in with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. I'm going to be going in with this eye cream as well. And then I'm going to be applying this um, Glotion from pixie to go ahead and give my face some extra luminosity because it's super super dry i don't know if you guys can tell the difference but i love this thing then we're going to go ahead and start by applying primer this is the pore filler i don't know if you guys were able to see it because it kind of kind of passed really quickly but it separates a lot um it's not like the benefit professional i think it's an okay alternative if you want something to kind of minimize the pores it's not going to do just such a great job as a professional but if you want to try it it's okay but honestly i would get the professional like a million times over um then i went ahead and did my brows using the micro brow pencil i actually like the pencil itself i got the color brunette but i don't know if you guys can tell but it has a little bit of some red undertone so i think next time i just need to get a darker color then i went ahead and used the nyx foundation i did a first impressions review i'll go ahead and link it up top if you want to see that for concealer i am doing the nyx hd concealer in the color fair i actually really really love this concealer it's one of my like oldie but goodies from like a long time and it's only like five bucks i really really love it it's very creamy the coverage is good it's very very beautiful now to set my under eye area and to go ahead and contour i am going to be using this highlight and contour palette I think this is the first time like I really play with the palette and I actually really like it. I like palettes that give you a lot of things in one so you don't have to worry about getting like individual items. So I really, really love that. Um, before doing my contour, I did go ahead and set my face using the transparent or translucent powder from them. And it's um, like the banana one except it's a translucent color and I actually liked it as well. For bronzer... No, for blush, <laughs> I'm using this blush and it's the ombre style one and it's very, very pretty. Now, I went ahead and set my face with this Pop Beauty Primer, which I also use for the first time. I know it's not NYX, but I really like it. But can we talk about this highlight that's also in the contour and highlight palette? It is beautiful. So, so beautiful. I was obsessed. So for my eyes, as always, I'm going to go in with the NYX eyeshadow base. It's my favorite. I love the color. Um, it kind of reminds me of the MAC Painter, Paint, Paintly Pop, Painterly Pop. Oh my god, I can't even remember what it's called, but you get what I'm saying. Now, this palette, this palette, honestly, this is the second time I use it. I think I used it for like a Birdstone tutorial. I'll also link it up top, but honestly, this is so hard to work with. The pigmentation is just not there. This is the only NYX eyeshadow palette that I have, and I 
I don't know if the other ones are like this one, but honestly, there is so much fallout. Like this color here, I literally had to pack it on, and then I ended up adding some of the blush on there to make it look a little bit more orangey so it would show, and even then, it did not. It was just a lot of work, a lot of fallout. I didn't like it. <laughs> the liner, though, it's a matte liner, and I actually really, really love it. It kind of reminds me of the NYC dupe so i think it is perfect this mascara also did not like it at all it made them look clumpy it was so hard to take off i hated it now as you can see here i tried to use a gold eyeshadow you can't even see it but there was a grip of fallout i was like really really but anyways but this shadow i used for highlight that was actually really really beautiful it came out really really pretty but not enough for me to buy or encourage you guys to buy the palette you know what i'm saying then i went ahead and lined my lips with a nude pink liner i actually really love their liners i think they're only like three bucks and i have a few of them and i really really like them so i couldn't really decide on the like, like actual lip color so i mixed these two one from the lingerie line and one from the suede line and i got kind of like a medium tone pink which i really really loved so i went ahead and applied that but i actually wanted to also apply some lip gloss if you guys have been with me for a while you guys know lip gloss is not like my choice of lip product i just don't like them they tend to feel thick and sticky and this one is not like that and that is why I really really love it and that's it so thank you so much for watching guys I really hoped you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you are new to my channel welcome also give this video a thumbs up if you like it don't forget to share it and also follow me on Instagram snapchat Twitter and on Facebook so thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video Bye. I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Si te pido un beso, ven dámelo. No sé qué estás pensándolo. Que tu corazón conmigo te hace bam bam. Sabe que esa beba está buscando de mi bam bam. Ooh, yeah, my man.